welcome back to Review Weekly. I am reviewing Free Motion Quilting by Angela Walters this week and um, it is a book that I refer to quite often. Uh, it has 28 designs in it and it's all step by step and let's get into the book. So the publisher is Stash Books and this was first published in 2012. As I said, this was one of the very first books that I got. There's a dedication to um, Grandpa Ford in there. And if you've watched any of Angela's videos, you would have heard her talk about her granddad and um, how he helped her get into to quilting. Okay, so the contents, it just goes through getting, getting started, your designs, using those designs in modern quilts and then other aspects and it just keeps on going through the book. This is my favorite quilt. I love this quilt. I just love the simplicity of it. So she goes through, when she's getting started, she goes through about um, learning the designs, don't be too hard on yourself. And it's a really good book for someone that's just getting into long arm quilting um, and also into just quilting in general. There's lots of designs. She gives you different things that you can use, uh, stencils and notions and all that sort of stuff. And then we go into the different designs. So you can see here she's starting with swells and circles and she just show and you can see how she's laid it out, how you should be moving, um, how to do the swelled hook and then ultimately the design that you're going for. And the book just continues on through that and basically what it's getting you to do is just to practice each one until you get the hang of it. And the best advice that I ever got from anybody is just to practice. Just practice as much as you can. Pebbles is one that I'm still working on. Um, I do like the look of the elongated pebbles and um, that's one that I'm actually working on at the moment And and because um, I don't get to do a lot of free motion quilting within my business. Um, another one that I like to do is this swell one. It was one of the first ones that I learnt. And you can just see here there's different projects that she's got throughout the book as well and you can see them applied to the different squares and everything like that um, and it just continues on with lots of different ideas and patterns and how you can apply them to your quilts ribbon candy is another one that i like to practice because um once you get the hang of it you're pretty much good to go but before i start doing it on a quilt i like to give it a bit of a practice um, especially on my corners to make sure that when i'm turning a corner i'm getting it right um, this one i haven't tried yet it, it's a flower type one and it's using scallops and and swirls and everything like that i haven't had a chance to try it but it is on my bucket list of quilting for 2019 so you'll probably see that pop up on instagram and places like that so these are all the uh, quilts that she's done and the different designs that she's done in them applying them to so as i said this is a really good book for a beginner to sink their teeth into free motion quilting um, again, I will link up all the relevant information about the book at below this video. And if you like this video today, give it a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and tell us what you thought. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that little bell icon beside it. And that way you won't miss out on any future posts. My name is Nicole Reed for Devon Lee Design Studio and this is Review Weekly. Bye everybody. I'll see you all again next time.